everyone welcome back to graceful living today we are just going to get straight into the video so if you are new i would love for you to subscribe and join my channel but for now let's just get right into it okay so today i'm super excited because i'm going to be sharing with you a little diy home decor project that i did a couple of weeks ago i didn't plan on it going where it did but i am so thankful that i pulled out this stencil and tried it anyways so what you will need is a canvas now i bought a set of five from hobby lobby previously they are 16 by 20 and it was $10.99. Now, if you do buy this type of canvas set there, they are very inexpensive. You cannot use your 40% off discount. I think it's totally worth it because you're not paying very much to begin with. Um, the next thing that I did get was a pack of plastic putty knives. And the pack that I bought had three different sizes in them. I went ahead and chose that over just buying one because I think it was just a dollar more for the extra two. And then I did purchase a tub of patching plaster at Walmart. Um, it is 32 ounces and it was just under $5. For the 32 ounces now that smaller one is spackling that you can find at the dollar tree but it is only six ounces the texture is a little bit different it's more i would say like a foamy texture and the plaster it has more of a wet concrete texture now i did prefer the plaster texture over the spackling texture but i wanted to try them both and honestly, I think in the long run, for the amount that you get in the Walmart tub, it's less expensive. And you do have quite a bit left over. I've actually done something with all five of those canvases. And my husband is very lucky that I have not plastered every wall with different stencils because I absolutely fell in love with this, you guys. Anyways let's get back to this so as you can see all i did was i laid a stencil that i had around the house i just laid it on the canvas i didn't even tape it down now i would suggest that you do tape it down it would be easier and if you saw in certain places i took my time and was very careful with the way that i laid it onto the stencil and that's because there's a lot of small wording with this stencil and I didn't want it to peel my stencil up or miss anything. And actually it worked out so well when I peeled it back. I was so excited, you guys. I absolutely love it. Now once the stencil was up, I did go ahead and add some more around the edges just to add some more texture. I didn't know where I was going with this. I didn't know what I was doing, but I ended up really liking it. I did use the putty knife and then actually use my finger just to add a little bit more texture. I found out later you could either leave it just like this, but I let it dry outside on our back patio just for maybe a couple hours. I'm sure it was dry before that with all this heat, but you can paint over it. I painted one and I'll show you later in the video just with a can of spray paint and yes i absolutely love them now obviously mine is more on the french country theme but you could do any kind of stencil or really anything you wanted with this plaster it's just such a neat texture on the canvas at least i think so and so i thought i would share it with you guys it's number one so inexpensive number two obviously something you can have in your home and number three it is so versatile you could use it like i said with any type of stencil so you could easily make it match your own home decor there are so many different stencils out there either at michael's in store hobby lobby in store even walmart used to carry quite a few and obviously there's stencils galore online so you could go with whatever you wanted. If your home is more on the farmhouse side, you could easily do that. If you want to do a little girl's room, there's so much there. Now here is the one that I ended up painting. That was that canvas that was such a mess. And all I did was let my plaster dry. And then I took it outside and used a spray paint that I bought at Walmart and it worked out perfectly. 
I went ahead <laughs> and I stenciled some more. I absolutely love this little bird stencil. And so I used this on this particular canvas. And again, I just left it white and I really like it. I love just the monochromatic effect of it all. So yeah, this is what I did. Now, here is where we began. <laughs> My husband is helping me here and we um, had this light fixture picked out for Jeremiah's room for quite a long time and just never put it up. And the wall behind it was going to be absolutely blank. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I need another canvas because I think I want three canvases on this wall instead of just the two. But once I did my stencil thing, I got stingy and used three of them for the stencil and only left two for Jeremiah's rooms. Millicent absolutely loves her daddy and she is going to be ready and available for any project he has to do. Now I'm going to quickly show you the few tools that he did use to hang up the light fixture. It took him no time at all and I'm super thankful that he did do it for me. So once he, Ronnie got the light fixture up, he went ahead and hung both the canvases that we had done for Jeremiah's room. Now we took our inspiration from Pinterest and we just kind of freehanded some texture on his no stenciling here, but we did really like the end product. So I wanted to share it with you. Now again, this is super duper easy and really inexpensive. So you can create any type of art that you want for your home. That is the reason why I wanted to share it with you. I'm so glad that you guys made it to the end. Thank you once again for all your love and support. Again, if you are new, I would love for you to join our channel and subscribe. I post on here once a week, but this week it's been twice. So I really hope you enjoyed the video. You guys have a great rest of your week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.